So now this is where this is where the fun begins, if you will. We're going to set the K desired angle to six thousand. Well, okay. actually a little bit higher than that. Let's set it to forty thousand. Okay. So it's going to snap down really fast. Cool. And we're going to turn off um, disable collision, so it is going to collide with things. Okay. And we'll turn the sniff sniffness. No, the sniffness. The stiffness, the stiffness up a little bit. And max torque, well, we don't really need that, so we're just going to leave it there. And HD control, that's actually looking pretty good. So we now what we need is a trigger, so okay. that when they walk over it, they fall through. Right. We, the thing just can't automatically be popped down, or we won't really trick anybody, you know? That's right. So let's go into our actor browser, and down to our trigger, triggers. Let's go to trigger, and let's place this guy into the scene. So let's right-click and say add trigger here. Now we got our little trigger going on. Okay. And let's go down here. Sweet. Okay. So let's move this guy over just a little itsy bit. Okay, cool. So this is going to be really cool. Let's move... Well, we want it to right when they go over, so we want it kind of in the center. So I know I'm tweaking again. No, that's fine. That's kind of good. So let's open up its properties. And under trigger, we wanted to um, actually let's just look down here and make sure it's all good. Yeah, actually, well, we could give it a little message like "You're doomed." <laughs> Sweet. Yes, it's kind of interesting. And let's go into our events and let's change the event to door trap. So that's the event that's going to go on. Okay. And let's go back to our um, our hinge. And let's set the events, and let's set this, the tag, to door trap. So it's going to happen when we run over it. Oh, I see. So let's set that off. And let's actually try this out and see if it works. Okay, cool. So let's run this. Here comes Unreal yet again. And it's loading up. Mm Mm-hmm. Loading, loading. Oh, no, finally coming in. Shock rifle. And when we load over here, you'll notice that it didn't work, and there is reasons for this. Okay. So let's let's well first look that when I shoot it, it does something does happen. Okay. And it does go to the bottom, and let's just jump in here. You'll notice that it actually stopped. You notice it's a little bit dark in here, but you'll notice that it hit it right has, on the it board. It has swung down. And it stopped. Right. So which is exactly what we want. Mm-hmm. So. What's going wrong is our trigger isn't working exactly. Okay. So let's go back to our trigger options. And let's... Actually, let's go into our K-Actor. Set its events to do door trap also. All right. Cool. And let's just double check our trigger options just real quick. Go under... Not Karma. That's not really necessary. I understand. We go into events and make sure door trap is all set. We go into trigger and be initially active is important. Trigger once only. We definitely don't want that. And it seems like everything is just the way we want it. Okay. So is our player going to die when they fall in here? Not yet. Okay. Right now, all they're going to do is fall through. It's just fall through. Okay. Right. So let's set this guy. I want to see a gib, man. I know, I know. That'll okay. come. It'll all come. right, all right. I'm patient. That's a good thing. Kind of. Sort of. Not really. Yeah, okay. So not at all. But that's okay. So let's wait one second. Oh, gun. Run across the trap, ah. and boom, we fall down inside. So, which is exactly what we want. Exactly. Let's actually just kill ourselves just for... Suicide. Yeah, there he is. Are you happy, Zach? No, not really. Okay. So let's exit out, and let's create the actual physics volume that will cause our player to die. Cool. So let's go in here, create another brush, and let's change the height down to, I don't know, something really small. Well, yeah. Okay, okay. We'll set this to something a little bit bigger. Doing this size thing. I know. It's all about size, man. Which you have no concept of. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> That's no big deal. So let's move this guy uh, to the bottom. So when he hits the bottom, he's going to die. He's toast. So we go to volumes, and let's set a physics volume. This is just one way to go about doing this. And let's select it. Let's move our brush out of the way. And select our physics volume. Okay. And under physics volumes, um, volume, let's say paint, be pain causing to true. We're not going right. to really cover this, so we're not going to spend a whole sure, lot of time just, here. Basically, we're just setting this up real quick so that our character dies when they fall into the little pit of doom. Right. So let's go under damage type, and let's set this to burned. 
and let's set the damage per second to something massive. Yeah. It's definitely going to kill our character. We can rain some doom down. Right. Yes. So let's run Upon them out. the doomed heads of our doomed enemies. That sounds pretty good there, Zach. <laughs> Actually kind of spooky, but yeah. yeah. All right. So here it is. All right, here we go. And we're looking at the fan. Oh, nice, pretty wow. fan. And what? Uh, and you were killed. Actually, Little bits and body parts everywhere. Everywhere. Sweet. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. So let's exit this out and show you the rest of the properties for our hinge. And then that will really wrap this level up. I mean, this level. This lesson. This lesson, excuse me. So let's open up our hinge properties just so we can see what, what they are. Okay. Zoom in. Select them. Now, under Karma Constraint, we have all these different options. And the K alternate desired angle, this is just um, used as an alternate angle if you're not going to set the desired angle. Okay. And down here we have damping as before. Sure. K Resisting of motion. Right. K desired angle is going to be the angle that it's going to try to achieve if it can. Okay. And down below that we have desired angle velocity so as we showed in this case in the motor it's going to be uh, trying to achieve that certain velocity right the spin that it's going to be trying to get right and below that we have the k-force threshold which we actually talked about before in a couple of cases actually so right so we actually really covered that pretty right. well that's the, that's the one that triggers off the script that you have to code in yourself so let's go down to hinge type and this is where all of the controls like we showed before. We've used control and motor. Springy is just like it sounds, a spring. Okay. So it's going to, when you hit it or when you trigger it, it's going to go to the desired angle and then kind of bounce back and forth like a spring. Cool. And normal is just going to be a normal a normal hinge. You can set different options with it. It's actually very similar to the other ones, but the other ones just have more control. Okay, cool. So max torque, we already showed that. That's going to only be be used for the motor or the HT control. Or that's going to be like the power behind the rotation. Right. And um, just as a note, um, desired angle velocity, that is only for motor and HT control. Okay. And actually, a lot of these are that way, so I'm just going to quickly tell you all of them. Down here, we have the H, I mean, K stiffness, excuse me, and that's only going to affect the spring because right. the spring has a, a stiffness, if you will. Sure, sure. Nothing else is going to have a stiffness. Only a spring will. That's right. That makes sense. And also, the other thing that's only affecting springs is the damping, which also makes perfect sense. Right, right, because nothing else is really going to need to resist motion. That's right. So down below that, we have H proportional gap, and that's just a, a gap, if you will. I mean, it's, it's well, it's actually kind of hard to describe. Okay. But it's just a proportional gap. I mean, it's not that important in this case, so we'll just leave it at that. All right, cool. And not confuse anyone. I understand. And just as a note, that's also just con useful for the HD control. Okay, cool. So that really describes everything that you need to know um, to actually use hinges effectively. Sweet. So with that, that wraps up this lesson. Okay. Thanks, everyone.